going to be something quite different i've been asked to do this and it seems really really weird i was asked to do a bit of a a bit of information about who i am and things like that it's dead weird isn't it because i'm just talking to my camera now uh and not talking about bloody devices it's really quite weird or juices so i'm jules aka jules mama vapes i do a live show on a tuesday called sweet Om a la mama I also do reviews. My reviews are slightly different, a bit quirky. What they are is, I'll give you a bit of information about a product, but then I'll give you what it's like to really use, because I've got quite small hands as well, and so it's nice to know how it feels in the hands, if you can, you know, if it's easy to hold, if it's heavy. I've also got arthritis. So again, it's nice to know if it's easy to hold, not gonna affect me right arthritis. Also, if it's easy to build on, because, like I said, I've got arthritis. So, people want to know that, don't they? They want to know how easy it is to use, what the flavour's like. Some people want to know what the vapour's like. You know, the cloud chasers in the world. Clouds up in the sky. Clouds, not vape. You know what I mean? But, hey, oh, don't get me going. So, I'll I, I, I give you what my thoughts are. That's what all reviewers do, though, isn't it? I mean, because we're, I mean, we're not influencers. We just give you our views on what some things are like, the same as juicers, and everything's subjective. So that's that's what I like to do. I also, on my live shows, like to really engage with my chat. And I do on my live show things that make you go, hmm. And what it is, is because everybody knows I don't do controversy, I don't like getting involved in people's arguments and things, I'll agree or disagree with what somebody's done, but I won't, you know, cut myself off from them if they've done nothing to me so it's quite a good way of me doing controversy on my sort of live show because everybody's opinion counts nobody's wrong nobody's right because it's everybody's individual opinion so i do that on my live show and that's on a tuesday night seven o'clock uk time so what more can i say let's see well, I've been off the cigarettes and vaping for almost nine years now. And back when I started, you know, vaping, it was um, cartridges that you used. There weren't these juices. There was none, none of this. It was proper cigarettes. And it looked like a cigarette. It lit up at the end. And you put a cartridge on. And they were so, so strong as well. There was like 32 and 38 and 36 milligram of nick. There was no flavours. It was tobacco and menthol. That was it. And how I managed to quit on that, I'll never know. Because it was so, so difficult. It really was. And then flavours come in and, you know, other devices. There was still like a little cigar -like penny thing where you put juice in. And the juices were shite. Oh, but, oh my God, it was like heaven. Because all of a sudden, it made my journey of staying off the cigarettes so much easier. Because before then, I was still craving cigarettes. Even though I didn't touch them, I was still craving them. And all of a sudden, my cravings seemed to calm right down. It was like, wow, I've got this flavour. Although they were still too too strong, the um, nicotine level in them at the time, they were amazing. Flavours all the way. That's what really, really kept me off the cigarettes, was flavours and the advancement in vaping products. You know going on to better tanks rebuilding oh my gosh when i got into that instead of you know stock coils and i got, oh don't don't get me wrong i still use stock coiled devices and i do enjoy them but once i got off stock coiled and started building again it opened up a new thing better flavors then i started you know dripping squonking and oh whew, wow orgasmic again flavor 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 was unbelievable and then better tanks came out where you was getting flavour from a tank like you would from a dripper. And I'm telling you now, guys, I was mildly moist. It was so, so good. Let me just have a quick vape of this one. Yum, yum, yum. Love my flavours. Then uh, pod salts came in. 
so I've been enjoying them and you know I'm testing out a device at the moment it's um not the retail one as of yet but these are they will be retail once they've finished all the little quirks so I've got a couple to test out for them lovely though oh really really good flavor is great so yeah that was my vaping journey as such now I wish I kind of started vlogging back when I first started when you could have all seen just how difficult it was for me um but hey ho times you know hindsight and all that another good thing about it is and a lot of you won't know obviously some who are really good friends and have known me for a long time will know this I've lost now six stone in weight down to vaping I mean it's just sorry I'm just I don't know what I'm doing it's down to vaping because now when I crave certain sweets or a cake in the day I can vape different flavors so I fancy say strawberry laces I can vape a juice that's strawberry laces if I fancy lemon drops I can vape lemon drops you know if I fancy a cake I can have a pastry the variety of th liquids out there that you can use now to curb those cravings is unbelievable so it helps in that as well for me I don't know if it helps everybody but for me it's been absolutely great in my weight loss journey another thing about it is it, do you know vaping it brings you together and this is something I've really really enjoyed about vaping because obviously when we was all smokers you didn't have this we didn't have this did we this family unit there were none of this sort of thing you just went off, you had your cigarette, there was none, you know, and every now and again someone would say, oh, you got a spare cigarette, mate? And that were it. But vaping brought us all together. Because a lot of us, if you think about it, come from all different walks of life. And we wouldn't have, you know, got together if it weren't for the vaping. And it's brought us all together with so many different things and it's got us talking and learning about each other. That's another plus about vaping. Because we're getting to know each other. We really are. Our lives are not now spent like this in a phone. Du, 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 du. You know how a lot of people are? We're like this. We're engaging with each other. On our live streams, we're engaging with each other. And that doesn't matter whether you're a, a vape tuber like me. I, I, I say I'm a vape, vape tuber. Don't get me wrong. This vape tube and this YouTube. Vape tube is the next big thing. But I'm a vape tuber because I talk about vape on tubes you know they are you know the youtube or vape tube so i'm a vape tuber and we all come together so whether you do reviews whether you are an influencer or a promoter or even an ent entertainer some people class themselves as which still brings us together doesn't it in this sort of a platform where we can all chill out and we all share something in common and the common ground is vaping that's what's really common with us all. We all get on because that, don't get me wrong, every, this drama, we all know that, this drama. But not all the time. Majority of the time, there isn't drama. That's what's really good about it. And people say all these little cliques and things like that. Yes, you're going to get that in every walk of life. But for the main part, I personally, I found we just all connect. And we connect on a higher level because it's, it's the vapor vaping that, that connects us all so like i say we are talking to each other we're getting to know each other we're getting to find out things that we would never have found out before you know like different jobs what people actually really do and what what their life's really really about we go to vape events and expos and meets and we meet each other face to face i mean i love it when i meet my subscribers and followers and i really do enjoy the connection and I hang out with them, you know, I say to them, do you know what, should we hang out today? And we'll go around um, an expo all day together, doing stuff together. You know, it may be a group of us, but we have fun. I mean, we did a mixing thing all together um, at Vapor Expo last time. We was all mixing juices. Absolutely brilliant. And this is something else. Cigarettes, that never, you never did that. You never did any of that, but with vaping... That's what you do. It's the social aspect. And also, a lot of people who are in the vaping sort of reviewing, giving your thoughts and that, have you, have you ever noticed a lot of them have mental problems? Well, I don't mean we're all mental, although I am. But we all have problems like depression and things like that. And I found that it's enabled us to talk to each other better. 
and be there for each other when we've got a depression yeah our depression depression is playing up and things excuse me um it's again connection it is connection and a lot of the people i've actually come across and i connect with now i don't class them as just associates some of them have become extremely good close friends and that's not just people who review i mean other people who support me and things that i have got to know and we've built up a really really good friendship and that again is because of vaping you would never get it sorry another vape if you was just smoking would you that just doesn't happen does it Num, num, num. I'm not going to go through what I'm vaping on, none of that today, although it's obvious what I'm doing. But yes, so that is me in a nutshell. So what else is there about me that you'd like to know? Usually I've got my hair in braids. Everybody usually knows me to have my hair always in braids. I've always got it braided or plaited and things like that. It's just in, in bumps at the moment because I took it all out to wash it all, give it a really good deep clean um so obviously i've undone all my plaits and braids so that's me i'm usually braided uh what else is there about me hmm i'm a mother of three yes mother of three my daughter vapes too now that's better than her smoking she got off the cigarettes she's vaping and i'm really really proud of her you know her journey in getting off the cigarettes and vaping i've got, like i say three children happily married to my husband stevie who's also stevie dillygaff at his stands who builds all this sort of thing for people uh so yeah that that, <laughs> that that's me well believe it or not with this accent i live in glasgow glasgow girl yep i know this accent but yes husband's glaswegian born and bred so yeah glasgow girl <laughs> with a really english accent because i'm a sassanac that's right i really am a sassanac i love it in glasgow i love scotland I've had no problems with the people here. And like I say, again, I can be vaping somewhere. Even like we go out and some pubs you go to, you still can't vape in. There's quite a few that you can here now, but some you can't. So you go outside and you're having a vape. And somebody else will come out who's vaping. Although you get people who smoke and they go and stand somewhere else, you know, because I don't want to stand with smokers now. I've got off cigarettes. But a complete stranger will then just start talking to you again vaping that's what it brings you into i mean i've literally come out of the supermarket after doing my shopping and i'm pushing my trolley and i pull my vape out of my pocket and i start to vape and i've actually had a lady who was on one of those electronic scooters a little old lady who stopped and pulled out her vape and started vaping and was chatting to me about mine and my devices she would never have spoke to me before you know she'd have just zoomed on by you know, and gone and done the shopping, whatever. But she didn't, she stopped, we started talking about vaping because she was vaping too. And we were just talking about flavours. Just simple stuff like that, you know. She was saying to me, well, where could I get, do you know if I, where I could get certain flavours from? She's not a DIYer, obviously. She's a really little old lady. Um, so, I, you know, where, where does she live? Well, she lives around my area. So I told her some local shops that I know are good. That sell decent juices that's good quality. Because that's what she wants and she wanted certain flavors and i knew that these ones did do them and they won't rip the piss out of her and things like that that's something we do you know you wouldn't get that if it was cigarettes would you how many other hobbyists hobbies can you do that you, you've got this community because we are hobbyists most of us once we get into vaping you know it was to save money it really was you know and my health and i did save money and my health has got a hundred percent better I mean, don't get me wrong, I've still got respiratory problems, but nowhere near like I would have. And thankfully, touch wood, it carries on. And then it did get a bit expensive because I got into doing this. So obviously I buy the majority of my stuff. I don't care. I'd rather buy it, test it, see what I think of it, and then let you all know than you waste your money and buy something and go, well, that was pish. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Let me do that. Let other reviewers do that. Let us provide it and let you know what we think. But don't get me wrong. Don't just look at me. Look at a handful. You know, look at a multitude of other reviewers. And then you'll be able to form a better opinion. Same as juicers. If you're on the same sort of flavour, your preference is the same as mine, say. Then you'd probably understand where I'm going when I say, oh, that's amazing. That that, that The fruits and that are absolutely mm-mm, mm-mm. You get it. 
if you're not a fruity person, then, you know, you won't get how excited I get by a really, really good fruit juice that's not synthetic, not overly sweet, not going to kill my coils, blah, blah, blah. But we're honest. Well, are we all honest? I don't think every reviewer or every influencer is honest. I really don't. But that's another story. I'm honest. And I can only speak, you know, about me. I'm honest. And there is a select few who I do hang with, great friends who I know are honest too. And I trust them. I really do. So this is me being a little bit open, letting you get to know me. <laughs> I'm bloody nuts. <laughs> I've tried to stay dead like, <laughs> dead sensible, right? <laughs> dead sane. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm proper like, la la. But what you see is what you get with me, right? I have a laugh. I have a giggle. I fuck up. I admit I fuck up. Because no one's perfect. Well, Anyone who's a, a, a subscriber of mine and a follower will know this. <laughs> no one's perfect, apart from me. Well, I'm not perfect. I'm practically perfect in every way, just like Mary Poppins. <laughs> I say this all the time. Just wait till I get me brolly and I fly off. You see, this is what you get with me. I'm a bit of a crackpot. <laughs> and if I start giggling, I really can't stop. And when I do a juice review, I tend to squirt the juice up my nose by mistake when I get a squirt. And you, you know, it's just, I'm normal. That's what it is. I'm normal. And what you see is what you get with me. So that's it, guys. This is me being dead candid, dead open with you all. I mean, if you've got any questions, crack them on, Dad. I'll try and answer them. <laughs> and down below, you'll find all my links, my Patreon. <laughs> if you'd like to be a Patreon, that'd be absolutely amazing because it helps me provide for my channel to keep going because, like I say, I provide for myself here. Or my... my my email's down there, my PayPal details, in case you just want to do a one-off donation, that'd be great too. But you don't have to do that. You could just want to watch and support me that way. That's fucking brilliant too. It really is. I've got Teespring down below so you can get merch. It's on my booby lot. Merch, there you go. See, a bit of craziness. It's also got all my socials. You know, so you can get in touch. It's got everything like that. It's got my email address, so you can get in touch if you've got anything you want to talk about privately rather than doing in comments. But please, yeah, get to know me. And if you ever see me at an event or even just out on the street, come and say hello because I do talk to everybody. I really do, and I can't shut up. I'm one of these people. Nye, nye, nye. My husband loves it when I do my show because he gets a couple of hours peace. <laughs> He really does, although he comes in and butts in. He does his own live shows as well because he's, you know, not only does he make these sort of things, you know, he does a live show as well. He knows his shit and he's a DIYer and all this, like. Anyway, forget about him. It's all about me. Here I go again. Crazy girl. Right, so that's it, guys. So remember, Mama knows best vape, don't smoke. I love you much, today, and oh, just come and find me. Come and find me on YouTube, on VapeTube. Come and find me, especially on VapeTube. Get over there. And if you see me out and about, come and say hello, because I'm friendly. And I'll see you soon. Love you all. Much love. Mwah!